What's up guys? Today I'm going to be reviewing a 2001 Ford Mustang GT Roush Stage 2 Edition. Uh, this is a convertible with the roll bar package. As you can see, uh, it has the fog lamps. Uh, in 2001, Roush made about, for the Stage 2, they made about 560 I don't remember the exact numbers, but for this color and silver for the stage two, they only made about 27 silver Roush stage two convertibles in 2001. And this is serial number 4482. So you can tell it's an actual Roush. Um, it's been signed by Jack Roush. About, I said he signed it about one, two, three, four, about five times at this one special event. I'm gonna go ahead and um, upload the pictures so you can see. It was back in 2011 when he signed the car for me. I've been having this car way back since 06. And all I can say is that I really appreciate this car for owning it because I met a lot of good friends. You know, at car meets, car crews, car shows, street races, you know. Okay, so yeah, back in 2001, this car was one of the baddest Mustangs you can buy in that era. Um, besides the Celine, the Cobra, but I think the Celine and the Roush, they look way better than the Cobras, in my opinion. I mean, especially the 99201 Cobra. Yeah, so Roush, they added... Um the ulterior, you know, like the 75 ABK throttle body with a Roush coder intake. Um, it has suspension work like Roush lower control arms, the Roush uh, sway bars and um, Bilstein springs, I mean shocks. And it has the Roush wheels with the Roush full body kit, side exit exhaust, which I think that's like one of my favorite all time you know um i think it looks really really cool with the side exit so you don't really see a lot of vehicle nowadays with you know with that kind of setup so i think this is really kind of like a unique vehicle um you can see the the roll bar i think that looks pretty really cool and right there that's the the roush serial number 4482 so um and you can also um type it in type in the five last digits VIN digits of this vehicle on the Roush website just to see if it's a real a true Roush and whenever you do that it's going to tell you all the you know whatever the car is if it's a stage two one or three and in this case this one you know I, I'm, I'm gonna pop it up on the screen but this one it's a uh, um, you know obviously 2001 Roush stage two convertible silver in color five-speed transmission and it does come with a tray make i think it's the 3650 i don't remember but yeah it does come with the tray make and um like i said everything's original in this vehicle i mean I, of course mine is the front bumper and the hood um the hood i found that hood in, in craigslist a couple years back it was already painted in silver and some lady was selling it you know i, I picked it up for 200 bucks you know, she wanted two fifties, and I gave her two hundred. And um, she was setting it. She said it sat in her garage for years. It came out of a '04 Mustang V6, which is the same hood that came in the all the Stage Three Roush Mustangs, and also the same hood that came in on on the '99 to '01 Cobra. So, um, like I said, I, I like this hood a lot. Okay, so before I purchased this car, I always wanted to get an 0304 Cobra Terminator. But when I came across this car, man, I, I don't know. It, it, it just feel, you know, it, it looks so unique and, you know, it's special. I, you know, I, I like rare vehicles, so, you know, I had to give me this one. But, you know, I kind of stepped away from the, you know, from not getting the Terminator because of the insurance rate. 
you know, it was going to kill me at, at the time. I was 18 years old when I purchased this vehicle. So, like I said, I wanted to get the 0304 Cobra supercharger. But, like I said, this car, I don't know. It's just, it, it was meant to be, man. <laughs> so, yeah, so I added the 0304 Cobra convertible top, you know, just to get that feel, man. I always like that material. It gives it, like, a more deeper black you know, it, it gets more contrast to the silver. It kind of like pops up more. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's a very expensive top. You know, they're not cheap. Uh, so will I ever build the motor? Uh, probably not, man. I, I think I'm just gonna keep it original. You know, I, I just, I don't see myself doing that to the car, you know. I, I just hate, you know, if, when you build something, you know, you're always gonna have that problem, you know, it was breaking down, stuff like that. So, you know, I, I, I just wanna make it reliable 100%. You know, I, I don't care if it's the slowest car out there. You know, it just looks good to me, so. But I, I'm, I might be buying something else next year. You know, I, I don't know. I, I've been looking at several vehicles, sports cars, so. Like that new 2018 Mustang GT, you know, I, I think that's head of a deal. You know, the car comes really, really fast out of the factory. But as for this one, like I said earlier, man, I, I think it's gonna keep it in the garage, just keep it in the family, so and keep it stock, nothing to the motor, nothing crazy. Just wanted to be a cruiser for the weekends, you know, maybe drive it. You know, across the, the country someday. But, yeah. So maybe if somebody came with a crazy offer, offer me more of what I more of what I have in mind for this car, then I, I might consider it. <laughs> but you just never know, man. Money talks. But, uh, like I said, just keeping it. so much for watching like the video subscribe and uh, see you in the next one and i got a, a very special um video coming up next it's uh it's, it's gonna be a truck so um yeah stay tuned for that one guys see ya